Hello! Hi guys. Aiden is currently eating chicken wing. I'm starving. He he is. Okay. If I don't stop trying to jump with that button, I'm probably gonna end my life. Basically, if I don't eat, I'm not gonna have energy. So this is so that the show must go on. Um, what was this? Oh frick, it's the never mind. Mm. We'll try this one. I don't remember what you have to do here, but you know what? I think it's the squid again. Oh, tough. Um, okay, so since this is our this is our normal story time episode, so Aiden. New hope stories. Yeah, so we wanted to we talk 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 about some new hope stories because you know New Hope is um well it's interesting. So I know this is just high school stories, we'll call it that, because I have a few from Circle Bill. Um so first of all, what Yeah, you go first. <laughs> Why am I going first? Because you're eating. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. I believe in you, Dalton. You can go first. You I don't. Go. I'm frig. I don't have a story. Um. All right. So let's see. You I'm specifically to... said you wanted to do another one because you have stories. Yeah, but I thought you would lead them off and I'd remember them, and it's like I don't remember any right now. All right. Let's refresh your memory. What happened at Circle Bill High School? Not that much. Um, have you talked to the Adams family yet? There's not much to talk about there, though. Really. Yeah, that, the Adams family, I mean, it was just a play that we did. I don't know what there really is to mention about it. Grant Dupler starred in it. Yeah, he was the um, kid. I don't remember the kid's name, but he was the kid. <laughs> the kid. Okay, this is going to kill me, so I'm going to uh, just exit the area. <laughs> no. Nice. You know, we could do a uh, chicken machine. Uh, we're not. <laughs> at, at the end of this episode, we'll do the pachinko. We'll come yes. back to it. Just so you can stop asking. Okay. I'm going to beat it. It's, it's only 2.30 a.m. and Ethan's already contracted terminal disease of tired. Ligma 1, Ligma 2. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Let's get some shines around here. Anyway, um... I do have a college story. This is, this is not super amazing, but it's interesting. So there's like an academic center that's called The Cove right next to my Bible classroom. And it's um basically, it's basically just for tutoring, I think. I don't know what they really do in there, but they have dogs that'll come in every once in a while. The dogs are really sweet. They'll come up to you and like, um, it's a golden doodle and then a golden retriever that's in there. The golden doodle's kind of shy, but the doodle, yeah. Um, so anyway, the Golden Retriever will occasionally go, like, outside of the cove, and it'll just kind of, like, there's, like, a small kind of lounge area right outside, and basically it's, like, we have, uh, our classroom is kind of, like, right next to it, so it's, like, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it's right next to it, uh -huh. and, uh, the dog just one day randomly went outside of the cove, and, um, just walk into our classroom in the middle of our lesson, so... <laughs> wow. Yeah, we, um... And it went, it, like, went up to everyone individually, and... Yeah, there's a big old hug. So it wanted, it just it. wanted pet, and then it went up to, like, the professor as he's teaching, and he thought it was, like, the greatest thing ever. <laughs> if it was that one robot, we should have just ripped the dog in half. <laughs> Mr. Thomas. Oh, yeah, so apparently, um... Tucker Smythe, is this ever gonna get clean? Anyway, Tucker Smythe has Mr. Thomas this year. Um, so Miss, Mr. Thomas is a great teacher. He's he's done some interesting things. Um, he's he sword fought people in the middle of class, which is. <laughs> well, I don't have enough water into the hole. So I call a dolphin dive. Dolphin is in. The hit emulator? And and the hit animal from the series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Friend. What is it even in? I don't know. It's just Jotaro likes dolphins, I guess. I don't I don't know what part it's from. Oh wait, no, it's in part four. He had diamonds on his clothes or something. I mean dolphins. He had a diamond on his clothes. Frick Mario, get up there. Well, 
Last this last episode was story time with Aiden. This is episode story time with freaking nobody because Aiden doesn't have a story. How do you? Okay, the thing is, you say you want to tell New Hope stories. Yeah, tell me a New any. Hope story. I'm, okay. I, you you always talk about like oh I don't I have a rant about New Hope. I want to tell this on some freaking. I guess I'll talk about Grandparents Day today. So today is Grandparents Day, and high school's not allowed to participate because. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that the staff thinks that if the grandparents see the high school, they'll pull their kids out and transfer <laughs> to a different school, which I'd suggest that. Um, <laughs> so, then my grandparents were there, because my brother's in middle school, and I wanted to see, it, see them, and they're like, no. It's like, okay. So, I forgot to pack a lunch, because I thought we were going to get out at 10.15, but we actually got out at noon, which sucked, because I didn't get to eat. But, Grandparents Day has breakfast, so we were heading back to our normal class after lunch today, and lo and behold, in the gym, there is a bunch of food just sitting on a table, you name it, we had fruit, we had donuts, and that was it. <laughs> uh, so we go ahead and ask good old Mr. King, our... Uh, I don't even know what he does. The head of the school or something. <laughs> He's just kind of there. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, hey, um, can we have some of this? Because we're all hungry. He said, sure, just eat it in here. Uh, and we did, and it was delicious. And I walked out, and I see my grandparents just in time to take a picture with them. And then my grandma's like, hey, you want to leave early and go to lunch? And I said, heck yes. So we did, and we went to B-dubs. I got my wings. And that I'm eating right now. Actually done. So now I'm gonna have energy again. Excited Thanks. about that. So yeah, grandparents is kind of a joke. <gasps> oh my gosh, I forgot. One year, like two years ago, I emceed Grandparents Day when I was in middle school. Who? It was okay. It didn't disastrously flop. Why don't you switch to the? I don't have the hover nozzle. Oh. I just have the jetpack. I see. Frick! I can't even get out of the water. I anyway, think you have to do yeah. this. Are any stories popping up in your head now? Oh, so, um, I would like to, there was a story, freak, what was it? Um, basically, when I was at New Hope, we had a, no, this isn't even when I was at New Hope. So, do you know what the old locker room looked like, which is yeah. the room in the back hall that was just mm. barely locked? Mm. So, someone put their office in there, I don't freaking remember who, it was one of the teachers, um, and I sometimes would go there during the youth groups that I was, like, forced to attend. Um, it was only during, like, freshman or really nice any time before. Window. What? Nice gamer job. Yeah, anyway, it was only, like, freshman-ish year, but I would go in there and I would, like, just chill out. So sometimes it was just like, wow, this is hecka boring. So <laughs> I'll just chill out in here and play some bullcrap on my phone who knows what mm. but anyway um you can pick the lock the, the, the doors are uh, locked in like four sets of quotation marks <laughs> because when i say you can pick them i mean you can literally rip off one of the name tags of the preschoolers and slide it in between the door thing and it'll open i'm not even kidding i've done that before nice. so i went in there one time and one of the teachers it was like one of them that i remember hating had uh their password for their email just sitting out so uh, me and Darren Buskirk, uh, good old Darren Buskirk. I, I think he, he was like staying over or something. We were hanging out, and basically we um, we I remembered. Oh, hey, I took this picture of another teacher's password a long time ago. Let's see what's out. Let's see what happens. So we sent like an email to everyone. Like <laughs> we wow. we, we targeted everyone. It didn't work. I, we should have found all the guys and said, "I'm pregnant and it's yours." And then you get, and then you have them give you money for an abortion, and then you keep the money. I think that's called extortion, and it's kind of legal. But well, it's, it's only fun. illegal if they find out. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, sure. That's what we're I have one. Sure, go ahead. Okay. So speaking of lockers, I don't like my locker because it's all the way down the hall. It is not close to my home room, so I'd have to walk all the way down there, unlock my lock. Put my lunchbox in there and then walk back to home room. By then I'm like really close to being late. I don't like that. So, luckily, I have become the boyfriend of the wonderful Anna Moon. 
whose locker is right in front of the homeroom door. So now I just use her locker and put all my stuff in it. Which is also great because there's this girl that's right beside her that whenever I open her locker like in between classes, it really aggravates said girl because she tries to get in her locker and I'm always there. Just sitting there. Taking her locker. Wait, hold on. Let me let me think of a way to rephrase this. <laughs> yes, this story it, isn't it going sound, anywhere. It doesn't sound pretty interesting. Uh anytime she tries to get into her locker, Layla, uh, Anna's do locker's door is open, and she gets really ticked off about it for some reason, even though it takes like five nanoseconds of her time away. And Whoa. I decided, you know what? This is pretty dumb. Let's prank Layla. Oh, that's the girl. Uh, so, me and Anna, being the smart people that we are, just figured we'd get a thing of milk and put it in her locker, and then she'll eventually put it back. So we just keep taking the milk from our locker and putting it in hers until it's spoiled. So then her locker started to smell really bad, and it was great. Because then she didn't even want to do it, like go to her <laughs> locker. So we got it all to ourselves. It wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be. It really wasn't, no. Alright, it's um, like the debate story. <laughs> I don't have a debate story. The one that you were trying to tell last time. Oh no, I was just saying, like, I won the tournament, like, that was, that was It's a... not interesting, Dalton. Yeah, it's not. What are you pulling out of it? Ew. It's tail. It doesn't look like a tail if you... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freaking, yeah. we are there. I don't know, it's, I'm supposed to yeet it into the river, but... Oh, Have you seen Evan Otter's Jug Band Christmas? Uh, no. I'm sorry. We should watch that. That's, that's the cancerous <laughs> media oh, right there. Oh, well, it died. Alright, cool. It died. It, it did it. This one should be fairly simple. All right, because you're doing like right there. Your free trial of being alive is ended. <laughs> Remember, always thank you, Flood. Thank you. I always will. be kind of like okay. They think this some kid is gonna like say, "Oh boy, I remember doing this in Sunshine, so I'm gonna yank my dog's tail and see that's if I can." <laughs> that's how sociopaths are made. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're just sitting there and they're like, "You know what I want to do?" I want to disintegrate an entire human body except for their hand. Alright, I'm going to stop you there. I know where this is going. We'll save it for next time. Mm. Grape is interesting. Rape is interesting, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who else can we offend in this episode? Hmm. What about murder victims? Oh, here's your comment. <laughs> comment down below what offends you. That mm. way we can say it in a future episode. Yeah. So in case you've missed it, we're doing a thing where we want uh, people to comment something, so... Comment? It's called building more of a community than we already have. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Mario's shadow. He's just sitting there. <laughs> He's just kind of in there. <laughs> oh, it's ill PNTC. No, frick. Is he sick? Sick pants, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just face planted into him. Ooh, a little smooch. Do you say no homo? Uh, I forgot. Well, Frick. looks like I'm gay. I'm oh, apparently yeah. already a furry, so it's like the same thing. Now you just gotta be black and be Zeon. No, Zeon's not gay. He's just flamboyant. I don't even know where to freaking go. Do you go up? Good, 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 good. Gamer zone. Frick! <laughs> no! Go! Whoa! Oh! Holy frick! Light speed! Gamer! <laughs> what the frick, Mario? Just like sprinted up the hill. Alright. Um, well, I'll take it. Everyone has a little bit of Sonic in them sometimes. You just have to have <laughs> the determination that you can do it, and then you can. Eventually, it will happen. I remember watching a task of this game at one point, where the guy, like, because you can't beat, or you can't get the star until Il Piantissimo actually gets to the flag, he literally, like, went right behind him and just mirrored all of his movements perfectly. <laughs> so, actually, yeah, play that right now.
so that's actually pretty interesting. Wow. Don't don't react to the stuff that I say, player. Right now, it annoys me. Why? Because because I just saw it. We was it just appeared in the screen. Shut up. We all stopped commentary for a second. Just watched it. It, it breaks the flow. Anyway, we've already broken the flow. From so. progressive. Progressive with their okay. You know that one progressive ad that like will play in movie theaters and stuff, where it's moved. like her just driving down like a road and like a bunch of weird stuff is happening. Wait, what the frick is? I hate that commercial. It is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to cinema and movies and TV everywhere. Like the camera that that was filmed on should be burned and crucified on a cross upside down. 360, because boy oh boy, Whoa. is that the worst thing I've ever seen. Whoa, wow, ouch, look at that grass, it's like very spiky. <laughs> um, just walk on the edge. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> I can't really get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna sit in the water, you know? <laughs> oh well, just, just, just give, chill out a little give bit. Give up on life at that point. Take a nap. Get some health back. Oh, uh, let's see. Have I ranted about Miss Adams yet? I think I have. Yeah. yeah. What's another high school story I can think of? I don't know. I'm just trying to get through high school, so I don't really have much to talk about. Mm. Like, you... Oh. Let me... Okay, have I gone through the reasons why I've been sent to the principal's office at New Hope before? No. Well, okay. you told the one thing about the note on the back. Oh, the yeah. So that was that was one of them. I got sent to the office for some reason just freaking all the time. Jeez. Okay. Did I tell you how I used to beat up kids in kindergarten? I don't care. Um, no. Anyway, so basically... I'm not sure. I'm so really not. I just kind of teleported. <laughs> just kind of teleported so, out of the um, principal's office. There's this girl. And, um... <laughs> Anyway, or Simon did it perfectly mimic that sound. Let's see. So, basically, I got sent to the office freaking a lot. Here are a list of some reasons of why, right? Uh, moving a chair. <laughs> yes, I, I freaking just, yeah. Coughing. Um, telling a kid his joke wasn't funny. <laughs> Putting a kick me note on the back of a teacher. That one was kind of deserved, I won't lie. But it was funny. Um... Oh, uh, let's see. What, what the frick else did I do? I got sent to the principal's office for just walking out of class once. <laughs> Which is kind of deserved, but come on, it was geometry. No, it was actually out for a one. I don't know why I walked out of class and out for a one. I liked out for a one. <laughs> yeah, seems like a really easy class. Alright. Well, you don't have. You didn't have Mr. Drum. Good old Mr. Drum. I, he's a good teacher, but at the same time, he's not. Because he'll. Okay. Frick, it makes me go backwards! <laughs> This is freaking stupid. Give you a question Woo. and not tell you how to solve it. Yeah. Like, whenever we're going over new concepts, he'll, like, force you to find out on your own without any reference as to what you could possibly do. So that's why Algebra 1 was bad, because I had to figure it all out myself. And I am not a math spurt. <laughs> I am not an anything spurt. The only thing I'm good at is choir, and that's an elective. But anyway, yeah, I walked out of his class like seven times. On the eighth time that I did it, he said, Aiden, go to the office. Which was weird because, one, I had never been sent to the office that You already year. told the story. Oh, I did? Yeah. Have I told the story of the substitute that made me spit out my peanut butter crackers? Yep. Well, I'm listening, it's New Hope. What do <laughs> I have to talk about? Well, let me finish my story then. So, anyway, uh, let's see. The time I got sent to the office for coughing, I, I literally just coughed. And then the teacher was, like, apparently annoyed and said, It was Mr. Conrad, if that says anything. You, you had Mr. Conrad, too? Yeah, he was my 7th grade math teacher, pre-algebra. So he let us use our calculator on everything, so I learned nothing. Yeah, it, we didn't learn anything with him in science, either. Yeah, um, let's see, anyway. Time I got sent to the office for picking up a chair. Um, yeah, I, I picked up a chair, there were girls screaming, I said be quiet as I was moving it, and then they just got mad, I guess, and just told the teacher that I was going to throw a chair at them, 
and I got sent to the office, and this, Mr. Fluhart said, "Are you were you gonna throw a chair at them?" And I was like, "No," and then <laughs> I got suspended for days. That was fun. What? <laughs> it didn't like go on my record or anything, but he was basically the reasoning was like, "Oh, we're going on a field trip tomorrow, and we can't really have you." going on the field trip after this heinous offense. They just don't come to school tomorrow, so... <laughs> wow. Um... Let's see. Yeah, that was basically it. Um, I have a coughing story, actually, about school. So, back in middle school, we used to have good old Miss Kelly Blue Ball as our lunch teacher. Blue I don't know Ball. if you know Miss Kelly, but yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's an unfortunate name. Every time... Like, she wanted us to be quiet. She'd turn off the lights as if we were preschoolers. Because she also taught preschool. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, so you gotta love those teachers. And one day, we were fed up uh, uh, over it. And this one kid in our class could not stop coughing. So we decided, hey, how about we just keep coughing? Like, one person <laughs> after the other. until so the entire lunchroom is coughing. And it annoys the crap out of her. So we do it. She freaking rages so hard, walks out, and then basically almost quits because of it. It was great. Easily the highlight of my middle school. And then another teacher came and was like, you guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. So we, <laughs> we couldn't stop coughing. It was great. Mm. I single-handedly made a substitute teacher quit one time. It was... It was for some drug class, and I was apparently being annoying. And she got fed up and literally left him in class. <laughs> so, <laughs> the best part about that, though, was that um, I we, we had to write an apology letter, and mainly I had to, because everyone else in the class was like, "What the frick?" You <laughs> so, um, my apology letter was very passive aggressive. <laughs> It was. It, it had no reason to be. The sub was kind of annoying, I guess, but she really didn't do that much wrong. But I was just. I was kind of a dick in middle school. <laughs> do you remember Miss McGinnis? Yeah, I, I had her. Uh, okay. Little known fact about Miss McGinnis: she does not handle cold syrup well at all. Ooh. Even when it's been out of her system for two days, she's still really loopy. She came to class 14 minutes late, so we almost could have left. Uh, she... Wait, what? Yeah, sure. There's water there. Whoa. So yeah, if you, you, you have to do it very carefully. How many is this? this one? Yeah, anyway, yeah. uh, she came to class 14 minutes late. When I, I saw her walking into her classroom, and she was like, I'm amazing, and did like a twirl. So I think that she's so like... Intolerant to medicine, <laughs> that maybe like one thing of aspirin could send her to, could send her to a mental asylum. <laughs> How are you supposed to do this, Star? Like, uh, you're supposed to go underground, but I actually remember this one very well. And the underground section is dumb, so I I'm going to do this. Did they patch this out too? <laughs> yeah, they they definitely uh, patched the sunshine, but. <laughs> Our sunshine. So okay, your your uh, your story of the lunch lady also reminded me of um. So did you ever have Miss Wolf for like anything? <laughs> Miss Wolf. Okay, I was her best student and she hated me. Yeah. So I let me let me go through my story here before you you do one of your own. Um. So Miss Wolf, right? She basically had the. Uh, yeah. There there is a very predictable cycle every time there is a musical. Of, it was like, um, scream at the top of your lungs at the kindergartners for not behaving, and they're, they're freaking kindergartners, it's not like they're misbehaving that much even. Mm -hmm. Um, get really mad at, because it's like, this the day before, and they're not singing things literally like in acapella, <laughs> and then when the time comes and everyone's like, wow, nice show, like, cry, and then say like, oh, it was, it was all thanks to the kids, and it's like, literally days before, it's like, <laughs> um, well, yeah, so there yeah. is one time where she was our sub. I don't know how the frick she got to be our sub. It was in like sixth grade. And she tried doing the same things with us as she did the kindergartners of like, oh, clap once if you can hear me, clap twice if you can hear me, like that, that type of bullcrap. So 
we, we thought it would be hilarious to just continuously clap, like just freaking forever. So we just kept clapping the entire time, and she was like, okay, I can tell that you can hear me, you can stop clapping, and we, we clapped for that. It was just... <laughs> Are you guys just a little bit on the spectrum there for that? <laughs> I'm just gonna let this thing kill me. Um, anyway. What the frick? <laughs> I have stories. We're gonna go over a little bit, but that's okay. Alright. Um, one time when we were doing musical practice with Miss Wolf, I Ms. had Wolf. to throw up. I was not feeling good at all. <laughs> and she was like, Aiden, you have to keep singing. It was like, <laughs> So eventually, I just left and went to the bathroom. Miss, good old Mr. Fluhart came in. He's like, hey, buddy, are you okay? And I was like, no, I just threw up. He's like, all right, I'm going to call your grandma. So my grandma came down. She drove me home. I puked in her car. And then I got to go home and play 64 on my DS. So it was a good day altogether. Do you, were you there for black belt, um, like, recorder karate? Frick, I did that. Did you, I had Miss Dupree or Miss... I don't know what oh well, okay. Let's never mind. It was in third grade, but yeah, I, I did it. It was sucky. Yeah, it kind of sucked. Anyway, yeah, that happened. I don't really have a story for it. But, <laughs> it was but, just a thing. I was good at it, and she hated me for some reason. Anyway, you know Dave's wife, right? Yeah, Becky. Good old, good old Becky G. Uh, she's our substitute teacher sometimes. Oh wow. And boy howdy, man, she's she'll like walk walk up and then start scratching your back. Or be like, y'all want to see a picture of my grandparents' house? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, she is the goat, and everyone hates her for some reason. What's the goat mean? I'm not... I'm Greatest not... of all time. Oh. It's an acronym. I've heard it used negatively, so... <gasps> Pachinko Machine! We're at the end of the episode. Haha, <laughs> nope. Too bad, we're at the end of the episode. I'm gonna take your controller and freaking do it. Alright, well anyway... Well, we're really over, okay. Wait, wait, what if we do JoJo's with Pachinko? I don't know, what if we do? Alright, see everyone. Right.